They're pretty fired up about their football team in Johnston. The Dragons look like they can hang with just about anybody this season. Let's find out the coach's thoughts by sending it out to Justin Cerency in Johnston. Thanks, Keith. Out here at Johnston High School, Dragon Stadium, joined by the reigning Class 5A Coach of the Year, Brian Woodley of the Dragons. Brian, you made history last year, the furthest that Johnson's gotten in the state semifinals. Obviously, the goal to do even more this year, starting with 2 and one record. A big win last week against Valley. Uh, thanks for joining us for Coach's Corner. What did you like last week about the team to get that big win? You know, first, it was the first game this year that we actually played for four quarters. We had glimpses for two quarters in the first week against Northwest. Played a great first half and kind of hung on and found a way to win that game. Week two, it's hard to say that we had any good quarters. We turned the ball over a lot and didn't do a lot of good things on the road. So I think we found out a lot about ourselves last week preparing for Valley. Kind of challenged the kids a little bit. We, were, we know that we were better than that performance. We got back to basics and uh, I thought we had a great week of preparation. And it turned out Friday night against Valley that we actually did all three phases well, not perfect, but well for four quarters. Yeah, coming back after that loss on the road to Cedar Falls, the team really responded. Two interceptions, the offense gets a lot of notoriety with the big names like Jacob Simpson, but what is it about that defense that you feel like maybe the difference uh, this year to going into the big games? Well, you know, number one, I have a tremendous staff. Like my, my defensive side of the ball has got years of experience led by Coach Elgison and his staff. and. Um, I know we're going to be prepared every year, and they put a lot of time and energy in it, but we got some good players over there. You know, we, we do return some guys that have experience of three years with uh, Tate Proctor is a three-year starter at corner, J.J. Shaw, three-year starter at corner, um, Cohen Mack. Uh, there's, a number, there's a number of guys, but there's also a lot of newcomers this year that have stepped up in the offseason and really worked hard to fit our scheme. They're going to play hard. We're going to be well prepared, and we just got to come up and tackle better right now. We may not be the best where we need to be, but we're getting there, and I'm happy with kind of where we're at week three. We've got plenty of time to shore some things up. Yeah, the, uh, familiar foe this week on Football Friday primetime in Ankeny. Last year, you got the win, and it's gone back and forth. I think five meetings in eight years and kind of back and forth every year. What is it about this Ankeny team that uh, you're really trying to hammer home to these, to these Johnston kids about you know, taking them seriously and uh, this me being a meaningful game? Well, the first thing I told them is look at who they've played the last two weeks. We, we number one, worry about ourselves, but at the same time, I know how kids are. Um, they've lost to Southeast Polk and Dowling, and then they want to shoot out with their rivals in Ankeny Centennial. So we know they're talented. They're well coached. They do have some new coaches. They did lose a few. And yes, we've had battles over the last, whatever, seven to eight times. And we know we got to go on the road. It's not easy. So I'm excited. I know the kids are excited. We know it should be a heck of a game, but if we can take care of business and do what we do, I think you know gives us a great chance to win. Yeah, in close games, special teams is a big difference. You've got you know the best punter in the state, and then uh, you've got a punt return game that's among the the top in punt return yards. Do you notice the difference there, having senior leadership at those two positions, and then also them being pretty darn talented? Yeah, that, that kind of factors into when I play <laughs> when I'm calling plays or what we're doing offensively. We know we have some pretty good special teams. We spend a lot of time. Yes, Will Sappers is a very good punter. Um, he's gonna put those guys in jeopardy, but yes, it's nice to have returners. Tay Proctor, again, JJ have done it for a few years, and that helps us get that field position, which helps the offense at the end of the day. And then real quick, what's gonna need to go well on Friday for Johnston to get a win? Well, our three things we talk about, playing clean football, uh, fundamentals, and situational football. We got, those are my three big things. We talk about it every day. Get in those situations, take advantage of those things, score points, but no pre-snap screw-ups. Clean up the turnovers. And like last week, we were minus, I think we were minus one. We had two turn, actually we were plus one last week. Mm -hmm. We forced two and we gave up one. So we won that one. We have to win that battle if we're going to win this football game. All right, Coach Willie, thank you so much for your time. And uh, this is a team eight and four a year ago. Maybe surprised a lot of people getting to the state semifinals. They are not surprising anybody this year, looking for their third win on the season. And it will be a big one coming up on Friday. For now, back to you, Keith. We'll, we'll be headed back here with one of the impact players for the Dragons, hoping to have a big game in a win. Thank you, Justin. We'll go back out to Justin in just a few minutes. But when we return back here in the studio, I'll visit with a key Ankeny Hawk.